Becoming a great cartoonist doesn't happen in a vacuum. We all have our favorite how to draw books that help us become better artists. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite classic how to draw books that inform the way I create and also some modern classics that are gonna help you become better artists. <laughs> Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with Circorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. I'm a cartoonist who mostly specializes in comics. I do a lot of different things actually, but my big love is comics. I actually have this comic, Young and the Dead. It is a kids versus zombie adventure story. This is the comic that I've been working on for a long time, and I will be kickstarting the next issue of this next month month in July 2022 and uh, so be on the lookout for that but I was just thinking as I'm getting ready to launch this next issue of this book um, and it's sort of been a passion project of mine I work on it a little bit here whenever I can and because of that it's been sort of a long journey to get to where I am now and I've noticed how my artwork evolves and I got to thinking you know we're, we're learning every day as artists and you know I've been doing this for a while some people may be just starting and they're wanting to know well you know how do I how do I get better what's what are the steps I take are there books out there that are gonna help me become better artists so I thought I'd share some of the books that helped inform me as an artist growing up uh, some some books that you know <laughs> They're, they're classic books. Some of them you might not be able to find at Amazon, but you'll be able to find them, I think, on the used market uh, for fairly, you know, they're fairly inexpensive. Some of these are, like I said, older classic books that I still think are really great um, that you may not know about. Some are classics that probably everyone knows about, but I'm going to mention them just the same because they're that good, and I think they're just, uh, you know, they're classics for a reason. Um, and also some, some modern books that I've been looking at lately that, I, I think, you know, for, you know, anyone, no matter where your skill level is, I mean, these are really going to up your game. So I, I just want to go ahead and show some of these books off. Hopefully some of them are new to you, but all of these I highly recommend. I think they're going to help you become better artists. So let's get to it. Okay, so I picked a few books off of my bookshelf. There's some that I didn't pull out um, just because they're almost like a no-brainer. Like, for instance, uh, Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. Um, I, the, the first one, I did, I did bring this even though this is kind of a... This is something a lot of people know about as well, but the reason why I picked this one out um, Even though you know most people do know about it is just because sometimes it gets overlooked because it's Just the nature of what it is, but it really is a great book So we're gonna get into how to draw comics the Marvel way uh, as well as these other books So let's just dive into this one first. So how to draw comics the Marvel way. Some people think think of this as eh, it's you know it's just kind of basic. It's but it, the thing about this it, it's almost like a crash course on comics. Um, it covers everything you need to know. It doesn't cover them in depth, but it definitely gives you sort of just a springboard to discover new aspects about comics. You know, starting with the traditional tools. And I did a whole sort of analysis on this book talking about is this really a good book for learning comics which it is or is it Marvel propaganda which it is also <laughs> so you know this is very much Stan Lee and all his vibrato like you know um, you know Marvel's the best and this and that's which you know this is a this is if you're gonna claim the Marvel is, is the best in everything this is definitely uh, this definitely backs you up because this is really a great book so you know from cover design you know composition things like that um, this is something I talk about all the time is looking at, you know, looking at everything as shapes. Everything can be breaking, broken down into squares, cylinders, cubes. Um, so just understanding that is a huge help. You can see right here how it comes together. Again, this doesn't go into super in-depth, but it gives you enough to get the basic ideas and you can go from there. Um, if you're going to start with one book on cartooning, honestly, this is probably the book that I would recommend as far as, you know, comics. Um, again, you get to see all that perspective another one I'm gonna go into uh, 
a, another book on perspective that goes more in depth. But at least for this one, I mean, this this gives you the basic, again, the starting point um, on how to do perspective. And then perspective, it can be very complicated. It takes a while to learn, and you're going to have to go a little deeper. But this is the this is the the starting point. Um, same thing with figure drawing. Tons of books on figure drawing. Bridgman's Anatomy. Um, you know, there's what else? I mean, the Bern Hogarth books. There's there's tons of books out there um, on anatomy. But this again, just for basic, you know, just these general ideas and the you know the the differences between at least back then what what Marvel was doing differently and why you know Stan Lee's claim is that Marvel is better because and again this backs it up pretty well um, gesture drawings simple gestures all of this stuff you know is if you don't know if you don't know much about kind if you're just jumping in this is where to start um, from best you know to to best and then kind of weak sort of in the middle um the the starting of that action or the fin or after that action is sometimes in the most strongest you know parts of cartooning and and this is good representation of that again a lot of different gestures um this this book helped me so much you know growing up and everything uh learning how to draw um just great stuff just again the head um you know lighting and shade and everything uh, different expressions and I'm going to go into another book that has tons of expressions that uh, is a little more of a deep dive um, but um, just you know how to draw comics the Marvel way composition um, and cover design all of this like I said it's not a huge book but it's it's got a little bit of everything all the basics that are going to get you started so I definitely would recommend uh, if you're going if you're looking into doing comics if you want to get only one book this is it um, but I would I would say branch off once you read this and go into some other books um, this is a more modern book um, this is how to think when you draw by Lorenzo it's the Earthrington brothers I think uh, are, are, are the team behind this two brothers and this uh, this is just chock full of great exercises um, and this one if if you're in the States it might be a little hard to get I, I don't know if this is available everywhere I got this through a Kickstarter and actually this is volume one I think he's up to at least uh, volume three at least um, and a lot of these to be honest if you go on Pinterest or whatever you can find a lot of these individual they all of these started out as just these little things that they're you know he's putting out online these little tutorials and you can find a lot of those like on Pinterest and everything or probably I assume it at at, uh, at the website which is let's see does it list it I'm sure it's here I think it's let's see where it is yeah um, Earthrington Brothers at blogspot.com. Wow, blogspot. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I'm sure a lot of these exercises are there. I like to have the physical book, and plus it's on, all in order. If you go on Pinterest, they're all kind of out of order and everything. It's kind of um, hard. But each each little tutorial, it's just it's just all these little tiny like master classes on. You know things that even as a cartoonist that's been working for a long time this this uh, uh, Lorenzo is just a master cartoonist uh, and so prolific I mean he puts out so much work it just it makes you like oh man what am I doing wrong <laughs> so good but each one of these little tutorials you know from hair all these and it's just it's it's real smart it's not these long tutorials but you can infer from this so many great little tips that if you incorporate them into your drawing you're just going to be a much better artist different expressions um, this one almost reminds me of another book that we're going to talk about a classic book um, but these are just all these great expressions and everything um, characters different character designs using different shapes to create characters and then it goes into animals and monsters um, but just fantastic Ex horses it, all these different animals and how did you know look at all the range of emotion and everything that is added to these animals vehicle mechanics just one after another all these great little tiny tutorials oh uh, this is like breaking glass look at I I mean this just it revolutionized I mean I would look at something like this and I may have drawn glass differently I'm like oh 
why am I not doing this? And and it's just, this whole book is full of this. And I, like I said, I think there's more volumes. This looking at things as 3D objects, same thing as the cylinder. If you can, a lot of times things look flat, but if you can look at things, if you can break them down almost like a 3D modeler would, it's just gonna, it's gonna come to life that much more. But, you know, just great stuff. The car, vehicles, again, the, the composing these, these different scenes in your comics. Seaweed, I mean, the, the thing about this book is there's gonna be plenty of stuff to get from it. And there's so many of these little tutorials that they might not all be, what you're looking for might not be in this particular one, but there are three volumes, I think, and there's more coming. Um, so, How to Think When You Draw by Lorenzo, highly recommend this. I'm going to go back to a classic. This is one that I had uh, growing up, and um, I don't think it, it, it's, you know, this is an older book. This is a cartoonist. Jack Ham was a cartoonist back in the, the 50s, and as a result, a lot of the stuff in here is a little dated. The styles and everything, sort of the gender roles, uh, it may be a little cringy for some, but if you can look all... If you can look past that, the the stuff in this book, I mean, it's just, again, tons of these little things. For such a small book, there's so much packed in here. Um, and, and you can usually find this used maybe for like around five bucks or something as I'm recording this video. But just great stuff. All these different, look at how many different varieties. I mean, this helped me so much growing up because, you know, how do you draw a nose? Well, you know, here's 127 different ways to draw a cartoon nose um, from the profile and from the front. Uh, you know, cartoon mouse, all these different ideas for mouse. Um, a lot of this stuff is more strip cartoon, you know, that kind of cartoony style versus more of a comic book, you know, traditional, which I tend to borrow a lot from the more cartoony aspects. But different hairstyles, and it's just all these little representations, it, it just can spark so much. Uh, idea again some of the hairstyles might be a little out of date here um, but especially if you're doing something in a certain time period um, just the different emotions and everything and the thing about Jack Ham is like all these styles there's so many different styles represented he's kind of a chameleon when it comes to all the different styles that uh, that he you know approaches so um, Hey man, it's just like all these different expressions and and it's not just it's body language too. It's not just facial expressions, but if you're looking for facial expressions, this thing right here is was revolutionary to me. Um, so there's so much that I took from this. There's probably like 150 something different expressions here that you can you can borrow from and you can get ideas and still to this day if I'm struggling with you know how do I show you know how do I show cynicism well here's here's a good representation right there and if you can look at the basics of this because all, all, cartooning is both broken down into just the very 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 basic elements but you can take this and you can extrapolate from that and you can build you know you can see how this if you want to make more of a realistic character how you can use the same you know the eyes to the side of the mouth kind of you know kind of a skew here um, but look at all these I mean this right here alone is worth whatever five bucks that you can pick up this book for um, how the face changes you know when when your eyes raise it also raises your brow all that stuff just great way to understand you know how you know how to break you know breaking things down um, this the symmetry of of the face you know how things line up right here uh, keep going you know starting from stick figures different body types so many different styles represented in this book. I'm just going to flip through a little quicker. Um, like walking, like again, look at look at the variety of different styles, all from this one artist. Um, so if you're if you're trying to come up with, you know, oh, what can I, what kind of character if I want to do something a little different? Maybe you can borrow a little bit from all of these different representations that are shown here. Hands, all these different ways to show hands. Again, more. I mean, how many different... I, I wouldn't even... Before reading this book, I wouldn't even have thought there were so many different ways to represent hands. But here you go. Same thing with legs. Uh, you know, <laughs> rendering techniques. All these different rendering techniques. From editorial to commercial to cartoon design. Uh, so, yeah. This book, you know, this is a classic. If you're not familiar with it, you can find it pretty cheap on the internet. 
cartooning the head and figure by Jack Ham. He also has some other ones drawing the head and figure and things like that. If you want more of a realistic, he's got that as well. Um, so I'm going to switch now to uh, perspective. We talked a little bit about perspective in the How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, a great starting point. But if you really want to understand perspective, any book by David Chelsea. Um, David Chelsea is somebody that we've had on the Artcaster show that I do, um, and he is just a master of perspective. And the thing that's the thing that's great about David Chelsea's book, much like Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud, is that it's represented as a comic. So if you have you trouble wrapping your head around how to do perspective, especially complicated, once you get into extreme perspective, I mean, he's doing things in here that is just like. <laughs> very intimidating but it's done in a way that's easy to understand because it's 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 presented in comic book form so definitely pick up if you want to learn perspective you know whether it's perspective for bodies whether it's perspective for scenes uh, I mean again master perspective and a master of of making uh, things digestible for for a concept that uh, or a discipline that's really hard to wrap your head around this is great because I mean it's it's just such an easy way to learn and you're gonna pick it up you're gonna you're gonna get a better understanding of perspective if you pick up any perspective book by David Chelsea I think he has two or three that here's two here I think he's got an, at least one more on perspective so definitely check out if you want to learn perspective um, and I'm trying to give you guys a base a, you know a good uh, I guess uh, just sort of overall different things to think about when you're cartooning. Here's another one. I got this from a Kickstarter. This is from Steven Silver. Steven Silver has a YouTube channel. I don't know if he's updating much lately, but uh, I mean, you have, if you see, if you watch any cartoons, uh, like I think Kim Possible, I think he created the designs for that. The early, if you remember the Kevin Smith's uh, Clerks cartoon. Uh, Steven Spielberg is just an amazing character designer. I got this through Kickstarter. I assume you could probably maybe pick it up from his website. I'm not sure. Um, but if you want to, much like the Jack Ham book, um, there's just so many different, I mean, and, and it's really things I never thought about, but here he's, he's got all these different shapes and just rearranging them like that. Different ways of think thinking of approaching character designs, exercises and things that I wouldn't have thought of. I wouldn't have thought of to break up. And you can do this, this is all little wood pieces, but you could do this with just paper cutouts or whatever and just rearranging them and coming up with, you know, from this, you get this. From this, you get this. But the way he approaches and the way he analyzes and, and approaches different figure designs and different styles, I mean, he does, uh, Steven Silver does have sort of a, a style that is easily identifiable but you can uh, you can take all this information and kind of go your own style from it but there's so many different different approaches um, to character design in here different rendering styles again um, the expressions it's just if you want to be a better cartoonist this is just such a great way to learn cartooning Again, models, how you take how you can take a realistic model and sort of stylize it to be more cartoony. And here's back to some of this, and he's got just all these really interesting uh, interesting ways to look at characters that you may have not thought of before. Do's and don'ts. But yeah, I mean, again, he's a master character designer, and he's sharing a lot of a lot of the secrets and the things that that he he uses to approach character design, even using 3D models and how all that can be, um, you know, different different lighting, how lighting affects so much of your drawing, different styles. Great book. So this is The Silver Way, Techniques, Tips, and Tutorials for Effective Character Design by Stephen Silver. And I'm going to leave with this one. Uh, this is the last one. This one really helped me out. Much like How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, this is a little thicker book, but this covers a lot of... It says how to draw and sell comic strips. Now, some of this might be a little updated, at least as far as the... Um, as the selling part, some of the some of the ways to go about selling comics. I mean, 
I mean, obviously syndicates and things like that aren't really so much of a thing anymore for cartoonists. Um, but however, this book by Alan McKenzie has been updated a number of times. I don't know what the current one is, but if you look for How to Draw and Sell Comic Strips by Alan McKenzie, there are update version. I just pulled this. I don't have the updated versions, but... Um, but I think the, the updated versions are in color. This one's in black and white, but this is the one that I had kind of growing up and that I learned a lot from. But don't let the title fool you. When it says comic strips, it's not just comic strips. We go into, co he goes into comic books and everything. You know, starting from, you know, just early, you know, early comic books, um, comic strips, you know, Winsor McKay stuff, Dick Tracy, Tarzan, sort of it goes into the history of comics a little bit and understanding the language of comics different comics how comics are different from around the world in different areas how you know you know asterisks here we've got um yeah i mean just there's so much here is that yeah mobius so no matter you know and kind of how how different you know places in the world approach comics differently Let's see the comic strip. So we get into you know again some some of the traditional tools. This is all. This book was definitely all pre-digital, so you won't find any of that in here. But I think you probably will in the updated versions. I guess there is. I guess there is some color in here. I guess it is a full color book, but most of it is kind of presented in black and white just by the nature of what it is. Um, so basic elements from comic strips. You know paneling. Look at all the different you know character designs and shapes perspective so we get a little more into perspective here facial expressions some cover design and not just you know also the story not just um, not just the drawing but how to approach comics from a storytelling aspect and there's just tons of examples and as you can see the variety is is kind of across the board from comic from horror comics to humor comics everything is represented in in this book Panel layouts, you know, it's, again, some more of these traditional tools, penciling, cover design. Now we're getting into more, you know, Marvel comics. But uh, yeah, this, I, I just, this book helped me out so much. Different vehicles. It's really a good companion piece, I think, to how to draw comics the Marvel way. It goes into inking. Anything that you couldn't pick out from How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, um, you'll you'll gain a little more information from this. More, you know, actually talking a little more about the techniques, you know, as far as tools and things like that, which you know How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way doesn't so much. Different hatching techniques, and you can see how it's different, how it's represented differently. I mean, look at, I mean, this is just so great. It, and then it gets into lettering. So, and I don't, I'm not sure if How to Draw Comics Tomorrow Way goes into lettering. This one definitely does. Um, right here, I mean, the, the kind of your traditional comic book lettering style, how to lay things out with an Ames lettering guide. If you want to do traditional lettering, a lot of that nowadays is switched to digital, but, but word balloons, balloon placement, um, just great information and you know this is back like ec comics where they had the what was that tool called i forgot what the tool was called but it's uh it's 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 this tool for it's it's this tool for laying or laying down these these lettering it's a really bizarre tool i talked about it before and i don't know why it's not coming to me but um it might even say here um i'm not gonna take the time to look for that um sound effects uh, again, we can kind of see how you can represent sound effects and everything in in this in the story right here, and then selling your work. Uh, again, some of this selling stuff may be a little dated. Uh, I haven't really revisited that part of it, but I'm sure there is also still some valuable information here that can be applied. Um, some of this, you know, as far as the paste up and stuff, that might be a little dated. Um, but color separations. I mean, here we've got. You've got the letter set, you know, halftone dots and things like that. A lot of that is digital nowadays. But still, all in all, I, I still think this is, I mean, this is one of the books that really helped me because it's a little bit of everything. Um, uh, just a great book. So there you have it. There are some of the books that I would recommend uh, if you want to get better as a cartoonist. Um, definitely check these books out. Uh, either pick, you know, if you're going to start somewhere, start here maybe. But... 
I mean, I would recommend diving into each one of these books. So hopefully you saw some some inspiration and maybe, you know, this video is going to help, you know, uh, kind of push you to, to get in one of these books if you don't already have them. But uh, yeah, so there you go. All right, there you go. So these are some of the classic books that I would recommend if you want to become better artists. Each one of these books on their own has great information, but really collectively, they're all going to teach you different aspects of being a cartoonist, being a comic book artist. And the more of these you can get, I think the better artist you're going to be. But I want to know, I mean, this is just a handful of books that, that, that I love, that I refer to all the time. But I wonder about you. Are there books out there that, are, that I didn't mention here? Uh, uh, that you would recommend other people please leave those in the comments section because the more great books out there the more resources that we can you know refer to the better artists we're going to be so let me know in the comments section i will try to list some of these where you can find some of them so like i said some of them are out of print so if i put a listing up it could be gone but typically they pop up on the used market so just do a google search for the some of these if you can't find them uh in a link so i'll talk to you later that is all Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Surfworks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. Do you like making comics? Then go to Surfworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.